What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Murphy. I'm Nick Murphy. We're, We're back. We're back and 3 d -er than ever. <clears throat> yeah, why and not? Still gaming. Still gaming indeed. So this one actually isn't about uh, a game component or an insert or anything like that like we did our last episode. This one is about us stress testing our machines. So now we've yeah. been uh, doing this kind of throughout. You know, we've been doing it uh, basically the whole time, like doing different tests, doing other stuff, doing different Learning, tests. Learning, getting better. Yeah, so that's what this whole episode is about. We're going to try and make these uh, different uh, stress tests that are already made by other people that people can use just to put your machine through the paces, put it through the ringer, make sure it's behaving like it should be. Yeah, so next going to take you through a bunch of different things, and then, uh, yeah, you can learn a little bit with us about how our machine works and, and what kind of goes into making all the various shapes and different things that your printer can do. Yep, check it out. Okay, we're back. It's the morning after we printed our dog, and we, we're printing again. We're going straight into it. So right now we're doing what is called a Benchy. A Benchy is essentially like a benchmark stress test for your printer. It's a printer that specifically, it's a print rather, that specifically um, targets difficult things for your printer to do, and essentially is testing them to see like, maybe something you made is like wonky or, or some something is messed up. So if these don't go right, you know you're gonna have to like tinker with stuff and change stuff. So that's what we're printing right now. So I'm gonna go over what it is we're printing um, and I'm gonna go over about what, some of the things that are generally hard for your printer to make as far as I can tell. All right, so you can probably hear our printer going in the background. So it is right now printing uh, this, this right here. This is what's called a Benchy. This is what's called a Benchy boat. And we are in a, um, a program called Cura. Cura is a free program um, where you can do what is called slicing. What slicing is, is slicing is essentially it preparing the file for printing. So you can uh, change all different types of uh, settings in this and like how thick you want it, how uh, big you want it, how fast you want it to print, you know, what high, what quality you want it to print at, all that kind of stuff. So what, what a Benchy is, is a Benchy is, again, like I said, a, essentially a stress test. You can see we have our three axes here, X, Y, and Z. And this is essentially a stress test. And so what it does is this challenges a bunch of different parts of your machine, of your printer. So usually when you have things like overhang, overhang you can always tell is red. You can see this red heart part right here. That means something is overhanging. Generally when you have something overhang, you wanna put a support underneath it. Because if you had a print that kinda of like went up and then out, like say there's a figure and their arm is sticking out like this, if there's no support underneath it, the printer starts trying to print in midair and it doesn't do that very well. It can print like on an arch to a degree, but there's a point where weight and um, just gravity take over and it will start just printing all over the place in this big mess of a ball. And uh, we don't want that. And so most times when you have an overhang, you um, need to put a support. But the Benchy model here particularly um, is gonna test I believe what it's called bridging, which is where it has an overhang, but no support underneath it. And you can bridge to a certain degree, but it does essentially stress out your, um, it stresses out your uh, your printer a little bit, but that's good. You wanna put it through its ringer. Also to make things like these holes here, these big holes or these small holes here in the hole are generally hard to do because it has to print here and then print over here and then print across like that. To make these little lips here are a little tough to make cylinders, nice little cylinders, to make boxes with the hole cut out in the middle, to make little holes with the hole cut out here. All these different things are meant to test your printer to make sure like it can do bridging, to make sure it can do holes, to make sure it can do all these different things. And then you get a little boat out of it. So this is essentially what uh, we are printing right now. And these are these different kind of stress tests. We're gonna do this one, we're gonna do one more of a file that I found last night and now I can't freaking find it again. But uh, I'll show that a little bit later once I find it again or something similar. So right now we're printing this and this essentially is a little boat that just tests out our printer and see, sees how it does, see if it's it's up to snuff and see if it's uh, performing properly. All right, as we roll, we got, we got the bit of a boat. So that big piece around it is called a raft. That raft essentially just makes sure that it sticks to the, the build plate here. Our build plate is heated, so it keeps the, um, the plastic on there heated and keeps it stuck to it. But nonetheless, having a raft is a good thing because uh, it just helps keep it, although, this raft is probably unnecessarily large. I just did the default setting for it. Um, so we'll probably make that smaller in the future, but I just I just picked raft. I didn't change any settings on it because I'm terrified of changing settings at this point. 
Look at our little boat. So a stress test is in a 3D printer test. Oops. 3D printer test. And so it has a whole bunch of stuff specifically that it, that it tests out. Now the Benchy boat, the one we're printing right now, at least is something pretty cool and aesthetic. But this one is strictly just a test. It just tests a whole bunch of stuff out. So one of the more prominent things that you can see uh, pretty easily is you can see this here, these overhangs. So it says the overhang test right here, and it has different degrees that it starts overhanging at. So you can see that it just starts overhanging, boom, 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 and hopefully it should be able to print like this if it's a gradual overhang. But this is difficult, as far as I can tell. This is very difficult for your printer to do. And so again, it's a stress test. It's just kind of putting it through its paces, seeing like, hey, maybe you need to change some stuff. Maybe your, your stuff is too hot to, you know, whatever, you just have to tinker around with it. There's a whole bunch of different t stuff. So there is like, you know, like a column test. So these are probably for supports right here, um, just to make sure your supports. And again, you can see the red parts are overhanging. So generally you would want to put supports in here to make sure that they don't fall. But again, this is a stress test, so we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna generate any supports because we wanna, again, make sure our thing can do it. So then we just have like blocks right here. Again, just making sure they're clean. We got some more right here. This here is a bridging test. You can see it has the big bridges, the big uh, spaces in between. They start very small and they get very, very wide and thin. That's just to test that. We have this big L here, which has this cutout here, which I'm guessing tests something cool. Um, and then we have our cylinders with the holes inside them. So again, it's just testing that they can, this can build up like this um, at different diameters and stuff like that. And so it's pretty darn cool. And then we have a hole and then an indent test. So essentially it's to build these holes and stuff. And again, this just puts this through the ringer to try and see if your printer can hang essentially. Uh, we're cruising along here. We're cruising along. Sorry if it's loud. So you can see the, the hole there has overhang like that. And it seems to be handling it just fine, which is great. Now you may see it, uh, you see that crisscross pattern inside there? So what that is, is that's what's called infill. Infill is essentially just support that keeps the whole thing together. If you just built a shell, it would crush pretty easily. And so when you have support like that, it just fills out the whole thing. And all basic 3D prints have uh, infill. There's different types. There's, most use that crisscross pattern as far as I can see. Um, but yeah, and so we are we are cruising along. We are 26 minutes into it, which you can see uh, right here. Where is it? There it is. Right here, we're printing at 192 Celsius, and the bed here is at 50 degrees Celsius. All right, so we're building up the cabin now. We're fixing the end of the hole there, but then now I'm like, this is the part where we have the overhang, and I am uh, mega worried about that part. That's the part that I'm the most scared of, so. We'll see how it goes. All right, it's looking okay so far. <laughs> I'm so scared. We're finally starting the very top, the very, very top, the the roof, essentially. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So I had to leave for a bit, so I left it to finish up, and it is done. It looks like the um, print went pretty good. All righty, so it is off thing. It looks pretty good. It's on the raft, let's see. It should just peel off. Oh yeah, perfect. Good look. Again, this raft I feel like is a little too big. It's it's you can see the outline of the boat. Um, I don't know too much about rafts, but I feel like this uh, is unnecessary. A little too raft, you guys. But the boat seems pretty cool. There's a couple like little uh, deformities. You can see like huge little bumps and stuff like that. I'm not entirely sure what that is. That's one thing that's tough about being new to this is like you see these things. And I, I don't know what they mean. Like, I don't know, like, what happened, like, right here to make these little bumps. Um, there's a couple other spots. It's a little streaky, and I'm not entirely... Again, I just don't know why. Um, but it looks pretty good. This was not done on that high of resolution. Not super high, at least. It was done at 0.2 millimeters, um, which I believe is, like, how much uh, space there is between layers. Um, and so... But in terms... Of, I also just wanted to test all of the, the different spots you're supposed to test, like the hole and then the... the um, the uh, uh, cabin here, and it, it seems like it went great. Um, the little chimney is great. The hole is symmetrical. The whole back, this one back here could be a little better, but like ultimately this is pretty darn good. And I'm pretty happy with our little Benchy boat. And we got that thing right there. It, it, it looks pretty good. So, all right, I'll call that one a success. Little boat, boom, teensy boat.
teensy bug. Then we got a, bu- a bunch of these. Yeah. So yeah, these are great. I mean, they like you know we've been over the video. They just test all different parts of your machine. For the most part, I mean, there's little things here and there, but for the most part, our hand, our machine handles it like a champ, really. I mean, it's doing a good job. Like we're getting better every time in terms of setting like different temperatures, slowing down the machine, speeding it up so that it you know helps with this whole stringing stuff and all that. But I mean, all of these have done very, very well. Like yes. every single specific stress test we've done has passed with flying colors. Yeah, really though. Um, really only minor things. So uh, that's gonna be something that like we're gonna be going through a lot. If you're getting into 3D printing, like definitely do these stress tests. Um, a, they look kind of cool. They look kind of like they factory do. stuff. Yeah, but then do. also it really helps you learn a lot about uh, kind of how your machine works. And every machine is going to be a little bit different too. So you really yeah. got to work it for your system, you know. Yeah, and at this point after doing, you know, different stuff like the stuff with Wingspan with all these, we now kind of have a good basis for everything. Okay, we, yeah. we almost always print like this temperature. This The bed is heated this amount. Like it's just through all these things. We've kind of just moved stuff around, learned a lot. And that's just what it's all about. Boom. If there's any components that you want to see us make, any sort of uh, inserts, upgrades, or whatever for any any games that you've either seen or heard about or think might be cool and wants to try to come up with in design, put them in the comments below, everybody, and we're going to be doing that. I think the next thing that we're going to be doing, uh, it's going to be kind of a big project. And it's going to be using different color filaments for the first time, not yeah. just black here and then having to paint. We're going to be doing Dinosaur Island paddocks. Yes. We're going to be doing different color paddocks for uh, herbivores, small carnivores, large carnivores, and then uh, for waters the water creatures marine as well reptiles, for the yes. marine reptiles for the totally liquid expansion. So definitely uh, stay tuned and watch the next one of that to see how we can make these little paddocks that you can actually just make bigger and smaller depending on your paddock sizes instead of having, instead of having to get new tiles. Yep. Uh, so I think it'll actually kind of save some space in the box and that's a pretty packed box. So it's going to be functional and uh, cool looking. So that's going to be the next episode. Dinosaur yep. Island. Get ready for it. Get pumped. Hello. I want to let you know that we have a Patreon and that you should check it out. There will be a button some, somewhere around here probably that you can click to help out the Brothers Murph. Click the Patreon. Do it. I also got to let you know that we're sponsored by Restoration Games and by Game Toppers. Go to GameToppersLLC.com to upgrade your game and experience. Look at that label. It's beautiful. Do it right now. I hate you. I'm sorry. I love you. Bye.